Hi guys, I'm Silas. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you 27 hidden tricks and tips on WeChat. If you're totally new on WeChat, please check out this WeChat guide for beginners. WeChat has many hidden features you didn't know. You will never know those WeChat hidden features by yourself unless you watch this video. Those hidden features, tricks, and tips will make things easier. Let's dive into it. Faster mention someone. If you are in a group chatting, you can mention someone by tapping the add symbol and select the contact name. It is easy to mention someone in a small WeChat group. What if you are in a big group? Well, there is a faster way to mention someone in the WeChat group. What you need to do is long price the WeChat user's profile picture, then it will add contact directly. You just need to tap what you want to say. WeChat tickle. How to tickle someone on WeChat? What does tickle someone means in Chinese? Tickle means pai yi, pai in Chinese, like this, like this, to get attention. And tickle literally means nudge in English. Someone nudge you to get attention. It means like, hey, you want to try? Come on, let's chat. To tickle someone, all you need to do is double tap the profile picture in the chatting dialog. To make it more fun, you can set up your own tickle. Tap your profile and click tickle. Here, let me tap in love with emojis. Let's check it out. Oh, so naughty. <laughs> double click jump to unread messages. It is quite often to misread WeChat messages, especially when you got too many messages to handle with. This is quite confusing me when I use Facebook Messenger. How can I find unread messages quickly? I still have no idea to do that on Facebook Messenger. But I can quickly find unread messages on WeChat. You just need to double click the chat at the bottom of the screen. Then the unread messages will jump up. Double tap again, it will jump out to next one unread messages. It is super cool and people barely know this tip. How could we try to release this cool feature without letting us know? Quick jump back to moment homepage. Which one moment is a good way to know what's happening to friends? It has been a while since you had checked moments last time. Now you want to check one by one and you go so down to the bottom. But if you want to go back to positive moments, you had to scroll up and scroll up. No, you don't need to do that. You just need to double tap the edge of the top screen. It will jump back to the moments homepage directly, where you had to go to back the first page here to post the moments on the old version. But now you don't have to. Mm, it's a hidden feature anyway. Set up only you group. You probably think the WeChat group has to be at least two or three members. Uh, actually, you can set up an only you group. Personally, I will set up an only you group to check something before I invite other uh, members. Uh, maybe you, you will think, that's too weird. Mm, that's okay, most new WeChat users don't have any group. At least you can set up one for your own now. Here is the steps. Type in plus icon and then tap new chat join private group enable your location setting the other version doesn't need to enable your location and then set a code after that click on join this group chat to yourself all right uh, this is this is a fun feature you can talk to yourself uh, i don't know who will use it but i am using this quite often because um, maybe you want to say are you crazy I use this feature to note something or transfer files between uh, phone and PC. Go to your profile and click send message. Then the chatting dialog will show up. Moments, text only pause. You must know how to pause the picture or videos on which are moments, but did you know you can pause the text only? However, most users didn't know how to pause the text only pause. But let me show you this trick. Go to moments. Tap the camera icon in the top right corner and then long press that camera icon. Now you can post only text without picture or video pauses. We try moments privacy. It is quite annoying if your friend posts 10 or 20 moments just in one day. You don't interest in at all. 
and you don't want to see their post anymore. You can hide their post quickly. Long press the profile picture. Click privacy. Hide his or her posts. Mute WeChat Moments notification. If you and your friend comment on the same friend's moment post, then all comments will notify you. That's that. Comments we show are to the same friend. And if you and your friend comment on their friend's posts, you will get notifications. Sometimes it is quite annoying. Uh, you can just turn off this engaging notification. Go to Moments. Click your own profile picture. Click here and here. Long press the notification to disable or delete it. Silent play video. Imagine that like when your friends send you a video to you or your virtual friends moments. You really want to click, click that video, but you won't do that because the environment won't allow you to make any sound. In this case, you can just the long tap video and then select silent play video. The sound of video will be mute. Voice typing. Many keyboards support voice typing, so does WeChat. It supports English, Mandarin, and Cantonese. If you're learning Mandarin or Cantonese language, you can use it to test your speaking. By the way, you can join this group to practice Chinese with me. Not this group is only for Chinese learner. Voice message convert to text. What is the most frustrating thing to use WeChat? I think it's the voice magic. Sometimes you got a really long voice magic. You need to focus on to listen from start to the end. If you miss part of them, you need to start again. In this case, you can convert message to text. This will help you a lot. You will see a red dot beside the voice match. Click on that and the voice match will be converted to text. But this red dot will only show up before you clicking on the voice match. A voice typing along with real-time translation. This is really technical feature only available for some users so far. And it has to be your first time to type different language. You need to type three times the same text. And then long press the typing error. It will show up the real-time translation. It only supports English, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean so far. I can show you this for you as all the language I have typed before. Mm, so not working for me. If it works for you, please let me know. Mm, search feature. Old messages or moments are hard to find. Sometimes you even didn't know whose messages or moments. In this case, you don't need to find one by one. You can click the search icon here and then select date, moments, articles, etc. For example, I want to search for any post with keyword good. Click moments filter. Look, all the posts have good shows up. If we want to search for chatting history, then go to chatting dialogue or group and click on three dots here and click on search chat history. You can select the filters to get more specific result and tap in the keyword you want to search for. Selfie sticker. Selfie sticker is already a good way to express your inner emotions in a fun and colorful way. Do you want to make selfie stickers for free? You don't need to download any third-party apps or software. You can make selfie stickers for yourself easily on WeChat. Press the stickers button at the bottom of the chat screen. Press the victory sign symbol and click on camera icon. Choose the effect you need. Hold here to record it or long press the stickers or emojis and click on overlay to customize it. Strongly alert messages. Is there anyone you care about in WeChat or someone's message a high priority? If you don't want to miss out any message from them, then you need to know this tip. The message alert will alert you strongly. It will not go until you read it. Go to chatting dialog. Click three dots here. Turn alert on. Let's see how it works. Easy mode. 
China announced a new policy that app must have an easy mode for older people to use it. I think this new policy is really sweet. Uh, many older people can read less more font on the screen. If you need a larger font size for more uh, legible text, use a friendly button. Please enable WeChat Easy Mode. Uh, you can enable Easy Mode. Go to Me Settings Easy Mode. Enable text to voice and turn this on to enable text to voice like this. Lao are you here? Wo Xiang Wen. So I used the different apps to help me translate. But the phone is a little bit too big. You can go to settings, general text size and and adjust to the default font size okay now you are good to go you can try to double click the message then you will find that the message will be full screen displayed with a white background color high quality photo or video if you use WeChat to take pictures or videos and then send that to your friends, that's not a high quality photo or video. You can use WeChat building camera. There is a tip. You need to turn the phone building camera on that will shoot a better quality and then send the pictures or videos to WeChat from album. Not if you want to send high quality photos or videos, then you should avoid using WeChat to transfer high quality photos or videos because WeChat will comprise photo or video uh, somehow. Keep that in mind. Favorites. WeChat Favorite has many useful features. I will let you explore what I want you to know. Uh, WeChat Favorite allows you to save media, files, tracks, audios, etc. You can upload tons of files there for free. Tags. If you have lots of WeChat friends, you can barely recognize them all the time. As WeChat users, we change their username and their profile picture frequently. Uh, you should learn to use tags to dive them into different tags. So you can post the moments or broadcast the message to them without selecting one by one. Trust me, it will save your day. Emoji effects. How to get WeChat emoji effects? Typing those words will let you get WeChat emoji screen. Happy birthday, I love you or love you, miss you or I miss you. Mm, chat to yourself is a good way to test them. I have teach you how to chat yourself. WeChat moments homepage cover. You can set up a photo homepage cover of moments just like other social media did. Besides, WeChat allows you to set up a video homepage cover. That's really amazing. Look, this is my homepage cover. WeChat backup. Compared to other social media, WeChat is a private social media. WeChat does not store your chatting history. You need to back up and restore message manually. Otherwise, you will lose all your message history if you uninstall the app or your phone is broken or lost. Mm, go to settings, click on chat, press chat history, migration, and backup. If you are from outside of China, not use a uh, plus A six phone number re registered WeChat. Uh, you can back up more things than we do. That you can even back up context list. Uh, this is really important to users, but it is not available for Chinese users. It's only available for foreigners. Please back up your WeChat when you need it. Voice print. Uh, if you log out your WeChat, uh, you can use voice print to log on again, uh, but it has to be logging on to the same device. Me, settings, account security. Click on voice print, set it up, and enable login via voice print. You don't need to type password or code to log in again on this device. Just use your voice to log in. But this feature is available for some countries, not for global users. We try status. You are familiar with WeChat status, but I'm going to show you a fun way to use it. Click on status. 
select status and click here to let the keyboard shows up then click this emojis icon here select a found sticker that you saved or search uh, stickers on the search bar look i'm spying you <laughs> uh, file videos photos expired uh, sometimes you forgot to download the files, photos, or videos, and when you are back to view it, uh, but you were told that the files expired. Uh, if you always have some important files, photos, or uh, videos received from your friends, you can turn on the auto save in case you forgot to download it. Go to General, Photos, Videos, Files, and Codes. Turn on Auto Download. And then the file, photos, or videos you received will download to your phone automatically. These two are also autosave. It will save the photos or videos when you are using WeChat to take photo or shoot a video. Even when you post moments with photos or videos, it will save one as a backup file. Uh, but this way will take quite a long storage on your phone. You need to clean it up frequently. You can go to storage to clean it up on WeChat or use a third party app to clean it up. Not WeChat does not store your chatting history, you need to back up manually. Okay, see you guys.